I'm a company employee, and my spouse has asked me if I could take a Friday off next month so we can have a long weekend together. So naturally, the first thing I do is log into soft time. Once I'm logged in as an employee, I can see and do many things. One of the first things I notice as I log in as an employee is the message of the day. At the top of the screen, this message says, please don't forget, and it can be updated by my administrator at any time. There's no limit to the amount of history I can also view. I can go back weeks, months, and even years. Of course, as an employee, I only see my own information, and I really can't change a thing. However, if I'm thinking about taking time off next month, I can view that month, view my balances to make sure that I have the available time to request, and if necessary, I can even view my employee timeline. This will tell me when my next accrual will take place. As an employee, I can view my employee information. I can view my user preferences. And as an employee, I can even run my own employee reports. Let me give you a quick example. This is my year at a glance. This is my employee profile report. Ultimately, after gathering all the information necessary, as an employee, I can submit an email automated leave request. Submitting a request is easy. Here, let me show you. Just click on the New Request button. Give the request a name. So if I'm looking for a Friday in August, perhaps I'll say I'd like to take August 9th off. Now choose the type of leave from the categories on the right hand side. Of course I'm not limited to a full day. I can do partial day, half day, quarter day, three quarters of a day, or break it down in any percentage necessary. After marking the day, perhaps I'd like to make a note. Notes are saved forever in history and they'll show up in the email text that's sent with my submission as well as in the software itself. Taking a long weekend. After choosing the day and making my notes, I can also see things like conflicts. Are there any conflicts with other employees on this day? The scope of the conflict check is determined by my administrator, and if in certain circumstance, if I have too many conflicts, it will automatically deny my request. However, in this case, my odds look pretty good, so let's go ahead and submit the request. After I've submitted the request, it's going to send an email to my administrator for either approval, denial, or it could be sent back as a redraft. I'd love to give you the day off, but I sure could use you in the morning. Would you mind making it the afternoon or pick a different day? So this is a submission and approval process. If my manager approves my request, it will automatically go on record in the software, it will deduct from my balances, and send me, the employee, an email notification in return, letting me know that I've been approved with potential notes. All in all, employee level access to soft time allows you to stay up to date with your most current information. It allows you to make better informed decisions and it keeps you organized. Hey look, it's already been approved. And my manager says, have a great weekend. And thanks to soft time, that sure was easy for both employees and managers alike.